When you walk into a room do you glow in confidence? Do you believe in yourself? What would happen in your life in your business if you could crush self-doubt and gain real confidence? There is a myth that confirms that all successful people are confident all the time. They do not have any self-doubts. And if you have self-doubts there is something wrong with you. You know as part of my job I work with well-distinguished entrepreneurs and well-known athletes. In their domain, they are highly successful people, talented, and disciplined people. These are people which have won some real names in the work they do and these are people who battle with self-doubts and questions on a daily basis. I work with entrepreneurs people who have created and sold their businesses for millions of dollars and yes they have self-doubts. Hi, I am Ami Mandavia, founder of ImproX the platform where we explore the science of developing a growth mindset, building productive habits, and what is required to live a healthy life. And if you're looking for tools, tips, and techniques that will turn around your productivity this year, this video is for you. If you are a victim of self-doubt and struggle with confidence welcome to being a human. The issue here we are handling is not having self-doubt the issue is what would you do with that doubt. The problem is letting those self-doubts run the show instead of deciding what you are going to do or not going to or not going to do. The demon we need to face is that and I have a solution for you today. If you have any desire to get an opportunity to squash your self-doubts, if you have any desire to get an opportunity to acquire genuine certainty, there is one thing you really want to do grab and pen and paper. If I told you to have that happen you need to change which you surely are aware of. But you know what our brains are wired hardwired not to change but to avoid change. In today's video, I am going to share some life changing ideas which will help you crush your self doubt and gain confidence. The question here is are you ready? One of the critical factors to unbelievable achievement isn't your inherent capacity it's not whether you have the right product it's not whether you're in the right field it's not whether you've had a privileged foundation it's not whether you have the right intelligence level. I believe you should dismantle this thought of confidence. It appears as though it is a simple word but just consider it in your own life when you have confidence. We really might call it fire or drive when you include that fire inside you that confidence inside bravery. You nearly have this ability to take the necessary steps to finish your bold vision you find in this world it's actually not necessary to focus on you. In numerous ways, your strategy in your business or your capacity in your life it's about this thing called confidence. We have all had these times in our lives when we are full of confidence and what others around you see as an issue you essentially see as an opportunity. Others see it as a hindrance or an obstacle and you see it as a turning point or this solution and so confidence is the real culprit that you truly need to wire. Confidence is something you truly need to foster. Confidence is a practice. Confidence is a muscle and like any muscle the more you concentrate on it and practice it and train it the more grounded your confidence will develop. I simply need to say it again when you are at a spot in your life where there is a continuous constant flow of confidence traveling through your mindset you do the courageous act in your business and you accomplish exceptional heights in your life. The primary lesson in creating high levels of confidence is to concentrate and study speculative chemistry. What I mean by that is most people especially people with a victim mindset arrive at a piece of their life you know a troublesome time and they call it a failure. I mean even naming a difficulty as a failure triggers something in your mindset to deliver cortisol the fear hormone which obstructs your best performance. So you need to see yourself and you need to concentrate on a speculative chemistry which is where others are seeing a failure or problem or even a little issue you need to search for the gold. You need to prime your mind so you have a dominant belief it simply becomes automatic because you have practiced it so much that when somebody says there's an issue or there's a wall or there's a failure you in a real sense see the speculative chemistry to transform the lead into gold. You may be going through challenges or breakdowns yet you need to work on seeing the difficulty or the setback as fuel to leverage your growth. So on this primary point about concentrating and studying speculative chemistry regardless of what you're going through in your life whether it's a huge trouble or a minor setback. You need to ask yourself how might I use what I'm going through as fuel for your growth. 
you need to ask yourself what is the golden opportunity hidden inside this alleged issue. You surely must have witnessed that human minds are trained to mostly focus on problems. They hit a stopping point and afterward, due to their belief framework, rather most people are not even aware of their belief systems. So they blame it on the world, they blame the provider, they put on the colleague, they put on their spouse, they put it on their experience growing up as opposed to understanding our daily performance mirrors our most profound beliefs. So in the event that you encounter some sort of a setback whether it's enormous or minuscule, you need to train your mind to see the gold inside the lead. There are three more ideas that I am going to share with you in the next video. Till then stay tuned and practice this first idea. Yet, count on me to always be honest with you, no idea works until you do the work. So please implement the ideas in this episode. Because I want you to win and the world needs you to shine. Subscribe to our channel ImproX so you learn from a wide array of truly remarkable content all across the planet in every aspect of human transformation so welcome to ImproX. If you guys like that feel free to share your best practices for your morning ritual I'd love to know what you guys are doing feel free to ask questions or add a comment I'm happy to answer.